All right, yeah, it's that time. Season six is here, man. Are you guys excited about season six? 2K recently dropped the patch notes. And if you guys were expecting to see change on 2K24, you're gonna be sadly disappointed. We finna get into all the details. Y'all yeah, be sure to drop a like and drop a sub if you can. Let's pull up the patch notes from this post that 2K recently sent out. It says, patch notes, April 1st, 2024. Here are the details for the upcoming NBA 2K24 patch update. If you guys don't know, season six drops this Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And I'm not even gonna try and attempt to sugarcoat this thing. We got nine bullet points of changes under the general category for a 2K24 season six update. And to keep it a buck with y'all, it seems like it's all nonsense. A bunch of stuff that that a lot of us just don't even care about. Let's take a look at the second bullet point here. The shorts number on the Los Angeles Lakers 2018 city uniform has been removed. Or how about the eighth bullet point? Under general, it says Kia branding has been added to the Orlando Magic Arena to reflect the recent real life update. And to get even more disrespectful, the ninth bullet point under the general category says adjusted the fill coloring for accuracy in the center logo on the New York Knicks court. Is 2K trying to troll us? Let's go over the sole and only bullet point on the gameplay. Devin Booker's spin jumper requirement has been adjusted to match the rest of his animations and is now available to players 6, 9, and under. Help me understand why we have nine bullet points of nonsense under general and only one bullet point under gameplay. Do you guys think 2K is just unaware of all the changes and fixes that are needed to make 2K24 feel like a AAA title? The bullet point under City Pro-Am Rec Theater in my career is the same bullet point that we as 2k players have been receiving for years various improvements to performance stability and visuals yada 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 save all the nonsense now there's a misconception that some viewers have when they watch my videos here that i upload especially when talking about bullet points or some of the things that in my opinion 2k just does completely wrong and i can't front after seeing these patch notes my first thought was man we about to do a whole rant video but before i hit record i started thinking what would resonate with the viewers what would resonate with 2k if they were watching this video i imagine 2k easily dismisses any videos that they see with a person just ranting about what they should or shouldn't do so i said to myself let me try a different approach here let me explain how these patch notes make me feel as a gamer as a player as a consumer purchasing the hoop dreams that 2k sells us i said to myself what expectations do i have for 2k over the last few weeks i've been seeing tons of error codes and those error codes leading to bans for players that aren't even quitting out of games 2k's poor servers give me or other players that i play with error codes and those same servers think that we quit out of games and we're either met with a ban warning or an actual 30 minute ban this has happened to us over and over in season five when do you guys think that that would be something that 2k would address and hopefully put in the patch notes after seeing these patch notes as a player and as a consumer i feel neglected when it comes to the gameplay on 2k24 as many goofy things as we see on the game while we're playing i could understand 2k not making changes to gameplay especially if they may inadvertently affect other aspects of gameplay so i'm okay with the gameplay portion but i'm not okay with quality of life issues like joining your friends and don't even get me started on the cross play issues why is it whenever i play with an xbox player or play against xbox players i am receiving the ultimate amount of latency i mean the delay is so obvious we're talking about like a second delay and you initially feel it on defense until you take your first shot and realize that your timing is just completely off in my opinion is these quality of life issues that really ruin the experience when you get on 2k it makes it feel like you're playing a budget title and for all you viewers who may have a misconception on how i perceive 2k i want to assure you guys that i absolutely love this game it's the main reason why i have such strong opinions about it i also love every single dollar in my pocket as a player as a consumer i don't feel like 2k works hard enough to continue to get my money i oftentimes feel like we're paying triple a money to get indie title alpha stage mechanics and it doesn't seem like 2k is prioritizing any sort of gameplay fixes for the remainder of 2k24 you know what's the craziest part about this is that 2k would do some under the hood fixes and not even tell us about it even if they're optimal fixes and they work in like the player's favor so we're gonna get on in just a little bit we're gonna go live and check out what gameplay changes have happened if we notice any hot fixes we'll definitely 
definitely share it in today's live stream. I will be going live just a little later on today to talk some more about this stuff. Y'all be sure to tune in. Y'all be sure to keep it locked. If you guys are tired of running with randoms and you're looking for players to run with on NBA 2K, come on out and join our Discord. We'd love to have you. The link for Discord will be in the description below. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at All City Live TV because we got a bunch more NBA 2K24 news, information, and updates coming your way. Drop a like and drop a sub on your way out. I'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream. Easy, y'all.